Hello, my name is Leah and welcome to my channel which is called Create with Leah. Today I would like to talk about how I become a full-time Etsy seller. When did I start? How much money I make per month? So let's get started. I have started around 16 months ago. Um, the first couple of months, um, the first three months was basically dead for me. I didn't earn anything. I received my first order I think exactly 14 months ago so and I only had one product um, at that time I didn't know what kind of product to put in my Etsy shop I didn't know what is going to sell I didn't even understand what is Etsy and I just put one of the planners that I had uh, that I've created for myself and it sold after three months after that happy day i started putting more products on the same topic um, that was about creating online courses it's because my main subject at that time was about creating courses so my etsy shop which is called course hustle is everything about um, creating courses you know the planners the slides the workbooks you know the templates the canva templates i created a huge range of products that will help you know coaches to create their online course uh, I have a planner for signature course you know how to create a signature course I have a planner on how to pre-sell a course I also have a planner on how to create your membership store and uh, to create a mini course uh, etc so uh, it wasn't very difficult for me to come up with all of those products because that was my passion and I've been doing all those um, projects already before joining Etsy uh, but uh, after joining Etsy I discovered another talent that I have and another passion that I have is um, about creating planners so you know I, I've noticed that uh, most of the people prefer to buy planners rather than uh, templates because with planners it's easier for them to plan their uh, course to plan their brand to plan their business etc so i thought why not to create planners and i started creating them uh, but then um, another thing i decided to do is to share the planners that i've created for my business with other people and then i started offering my planners you know as a template so other people that are joining Etsy can actually take that and then you know create their own thing their own design I mean uh, the templates that I have are mainly black and white so what you do is you add your inspiration you add your colors you your brand your logo and you make it yours your own cover page and you make the planner yours after doing all of that i thought why not to make them digital i mean at the moment most of my planners are printable and it's a hustle i mean i myself uh, print my own planners but then it's a lot of wastage of paper right you, you waste paper i can basically show some of my planners that i printed out and i keep them in this box so these are the planners that I've created for myself. I mean, I printed out and then I keep them here in the box. So it takes a lot of space, you know? I, I have a, a whole box of this kind of uh, A4 papers. So I thought, um, why not to go paperless and, uh, you know, stop doing actually printable planners and move to digital planners. So I bought for myself a iPad with a pen and I start my day planning with my iPad and I just quickly write down all my information for the day you know or my journaling etc and uh, with this um, iPad and the pencil so then I thought wow I mean that's what my customers might want right because they are emailing me all the time and telling me do you have exactly the same printable planner but you know suitable for good notes ipad uh, pro or i don't know any other samsung tablet etc and um, that triggered me and i thought yeah this is the time i have to make all my planners uh, digital 
And then I bumped into another completely different thing. I um, ordered for my friend uh, something that she wanted me to bring to her and uh, and it's an uh, empty book, you see? This is the book uh, that helps teachers to plan their, their lessons. So I thought, wow, I have all these templates, you know, why not to go and sell it on Amazon? Because you can buy these books on Amazon. These are called low content books or they also called uh, KDP books. And I thought, wow, th that's wonderful. You create just one product and from that product, you come up with a range of products. For example, I have created a teacher planner. It's a template. It doesn't have any colors. It's just a black and white. So what you do is you take that planner, you put your own logo, colors, and you know, change the font a little bit and add some flowers, etc. It will become your teacher planner that you can sell as a PDF. Then you can make it feelable and you sell one version printable planner, second version feelable planner. Then you sell it third version digital planner. So not everyone wants a digital planner. Some people may not have any iPad Pro or pencil, etc. They would prefer to print out and then, you know, to fill themselves. And then uh, some people though would like to buy it like this, like a low content book. Then um, what you can do is you can also sell it on Amazon and Amazon will print it out for you. It will ship it for you to all the clients that buy the low content book and will send you the royalty fee. So now from one product, you have four different things. The, the product itself, the fillable one, the digital one, plus the KDP one. Then you can also color this, the original planner that you have in one color. You can color it into different colors. For example, I tried that with my coaching planner. It was in pink and some people told me like, because sometimes my buyers are men and they don't like, uh, maybe they don't want a pink planner. So they ask me, can you please uh, change the color for me? So then I created a gold color, um, the planner in gold, the planner in blue, in green, in, <laughs> you know, any other colors that you can come up with. So now you have from one project, from one teacher planner, you created up to 10 different products, 10 different colors and you know. So that's how you create products on Etsy. The good thing about that is with one teacher planner, you have several colors, the fillable, the digital, etc. versions of the same product. Now imagine this, with one product on Etsy, you can have 13 tags. But with 10 products that come out from the same product, you can have 130 tags. That means you will have 10 times more traffic to your shop than if you would sell it with one version, right? Sometimes I, um, when I do my research, I find some shops, they have 300 products and I think, wow, how did they create 300 products? Then I noticed that my 150 products are unique. They are only one version. While their 300, sometimes 500, I've seen shops with 1000 products. They have just different versions of the same product. So if you have 100 planners and you can create 10 versions from one planner, that's 1000 products. Imagine the huge traffic. With only 150 products, I already have up to 500 people visiting my store per day and I'm making uh, up to 5,000 euro per month with that shop. So imagine if I had um, 1,000 products with up to, I don't know, 10,000 tags, then I would have traffic 10 times more than what I have right now and possibly earn maybe twice or three times more than I earn right now. These are the things you don't come up straight away. You learn them 
while you make your progress, while you create your products and research on other shops and see what other people are doing. That's how I spent my day. I uh, spent most of the time, like 80% on researching and 20% on creating. And I also have several freelancers that work for me uh, and I just give them the task so they go and create the templates for me that I, you know, I, I share the instructions with them. So that's what you can do. You can basically delegate the production phase to somebody else or you can purchase, for example, a template ready-made so you can make it your own and your job would be just to create the several versions of that product and, you know, research the tags, research other people what they do and create the design of your products and then grow from there. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope you like this video and if so, please don't forget to subscribe because I will talk more about my Etsy shops on this channel. If you have any questions, please comment down below and thanks for watching. Goodbye.